Do you know what I think? I believe that we don't think big enough. I really believe that we don't. I also believe that we ought to share what we have with those less fortunate. And so, in keeping with those two thoughts, I don't think big enough, and to share what I have with those less fortunate, I have this little thing that I do. It's a, sort of like a, a game that I play with myself, in that what I do is, I have this thought, when I win the lotto, what am I going to do? Well, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to have a grocery store in a modest neighborhood, and because I have more than enough money, I don't have to make it a for-profit grocery store. So it'll be a non-profit grocery store. What does that mean? Well, I'll tell you. I'm going to have things like um, bread, milk, chicken, hamburger, um, eggs, stuff like that. Milk. And every person in the neighborhood will have a $200 emergency shopping card. Okay? So everyone, I will have it printed with their names and address on it. And um, that's going to cost a little bit of money, but I think it can be done. And what happens is they simply keep this card, and should they ever need bread, milk, cheese, whatever, they come and just use the card to get it. And this card would be good for $200, as I said. And when they have the funds, they simply replace the uh, deficit on the card. And it's good indefinitely. So, that's what I would do. Here's what, it, what, here's what I think would happen. It would have dignity to those with, who have less money. So they don't, they don't have a credit card, they don't always have the funds, but they will always need to eat. And their relatives, they will know, hey, Dave has a card at the Microdac nonprofit grocery store. So you simp the relatives when they want to donate something to you, they simply pay off your card. You know, that's all. And then you maintain your dignity. You come in, nobody knows how much you make. Nobody knows anything. You use your card to buy bread and cheese and milk and coffee, hot chocolate, whatever. So, that's one thing that I would do when I win the lotto. So, you have any ideas? What would you do when you win the lotto? I have another idea. And depending on how well this one is accepted, I will share it with you the next time. In the meantime, when I win the lotto.